Hello Virgo, what is good with you? It is time for your extended reading for August 2022, okay? Squeezing all the information out of August that I possibly can. We are going to start this off with the past person, okay? So if you're not inquiring about somebody from the past, stick around. This part of the reading is not for you. So let's just do a general outline between Virgo and the past person. Really quick, if you would like the information on how to schedule a personal reading with me, the only way to schedule a personal reading with me is in the description of this video. I have to remind you all every time, beware of the scammers, okay? The people that like to in, uh, impersonate tarot card readers all over YouTube, all over social media. Okay, I will never do that. There's only one way to get a reading from me, and that's in the description of the video, okay? All right. Let's look at the general outline between Virgo and the past person. General outline. How's it looking? Oh, five of cups reversed. Is this you? It feels like you. Right at first glance, it feels like you actually getting over this and healing from this. These energies are interchangeable. It goes both ways. Take it however it resonates. Ooh, and the Eight of Cups. So let's just go ahead and throw it out there. Somebody, somebody here is finally making the decision in here to walk away and get over this. Okay. And, and what I mean by that is it doesn't matter what it looks like you're doing. You know, there's a lot of people that fake it. You know, oh, they'll, they'll pick their feet up and walk away making it look like they're walking away and moving on. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in here. You know, somebody here is finally having that conversation with themselves. Done. It's over. Not happening. I'm walking away and choosing happiness. All right, one more shuffle. Ooh, and the page of swords. So there very well may be communication. Ah, oh, Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm kind of feeling like there's going to be a brief communication between the two of you. I feel like there is. It almost kind of feels like one last ditch effort to see if reconciliation is even possible. Now, we're going to narrow this down here in a minute with the next spread. So I don't know who's doing what, really. To, to Honestly, first glance... It looks like you who's choosing to take the high road and walk away. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's them. Uh, but I do kind of see one little last-ditch effort to see if reconciliation is even possible. And with the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Five of Pentacles, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Knight of Wands, yeah. More than likely going to be a very brief reconnection between the two of you. But again, I don't know who's doing what. So let's go ahead and move forward and look at this person's intentions. Let's look at their feelings and intentions specifically. Past person Virgo's dealing with, universe. Past person Virgo's dealing with. King of Pentacles. Okay. So they view you as being very, like, no nonsense, no bullshit. And... I haven't met very many Virgos who aren't. <laughs> not many, maybe one or two, but for the most part, not really. Two, oh, okay. Oh, so they still feel a really strong connection, but I think that it's finally clicking. You know, because whenever you separate with somebody, when especially when you still feel that connection, it's really hard to accept. You know, like like there's no way this is over. There's no way. I still feel like you're tied to my hip. But after a certain period of time, it clicks. Damn. This is reality, isn't it? It's really over. It's really a done doll. Um, like I said, I think that this person wants one last ditch effort. And they're probably going to throw a pity party at you too. So just be prepared for that. And 
I don't think the king or the queen of pentacles uh, really falls for that pity party shit. I don't think so. Queen of pentacles reversed, five of pentacles reversed. It feels to me kind of like they're going to one last ditch effort to poke and see if they can find a soft spot. See if they can find a little soft spot to get you feeling sorry for them. Um, but as we can clearly see here, I don't... Ooh, and the queen. Look, king and queen of pentacles. So if you are a masculine Virgo, they see you as the king of pentacles. Feminine Virgo, they see you as the queen of pentacles. Either way, however it goes, you are a king or queen of pentacles in their eyes. And that means no bullshit. I can't manipulate this person. I cannot bend them. I cannot get them to bend and flex and do what I want them to do, you know? It's a good thing, by the way. It's a good thing. Boundaries are a good thing. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get a, like a generalized outcome. What's happening between the two of you? What's the general outcome overall? <laughs> <laughs> there it is again. You see that? Okay. All right. I feel like they are going to meet a stone cold ice wall. Five of Look, the same cards. No matter what deck I pull from, dude, it's all the same cards. See? This is not the same deck. Devil card reversed, seven of pentacles. Yeah, so, okay, so I don't see you getting the closure. Not really. There may be an attempt at getting closure here, or maybe you may try to get closure, but I don't really see that closure actually happening. More than likely, I see both of you walking away with more questions than answers, and that's typically what happens when you're dealing with somebody who's trying to manipulate you. Okay. Manipulators don't use logic. They use manipulation. They try to pick and poke at your emotions. And they try to use your emotions as their video game controller. Okay, They don't use logic. So if you are a logical, analytical, critical thinker, and you try too hard to logically, analytically, or critically think this person's, you know motives through you might end up driving yourself nuts okay you very well may i don't think i think it's going to backfire on i don't see you extending or accepting any love offers hmm. so yeah i'm feeling like uh, both of you are walking away from this with more questions than answers no closure will y'all ever, ever get closure is anybody ever going to close this out if not you got to do it in here. And yes, you are powerful enough to do that. Those of you who are new to my channel, I will be preaching that until my face turns blue and the cows come home. We need everybody on this planet to understand the power that they have over their life. Okay, let's get the advice. What's the best advice? Best advice. <laughs> There he is again. You see that? There he is again. I don't really think you need any advice, honestly. Because according to the last couple of spreads, this is what you're doing anyway. Keep your priorities in order. Don't let nobody pull you off track. Don't let nobody manipulate you. Let them guilt you. Let them shame you. Okay? I, I think I, for those of you that follow me on Facebook, I shared this the other day that having somebody create a false narrative about you is a small price to pay for having to rid yourself from that toxicity. Let people think what they want. Who cares? Who cares? I mean, honestly, the only way that somebody's opinion is going to actually affect you is if you let it. Let them go around and spread their little rumors. Let them go around and shame you and call you names and this and that. You keep walking in the truth. The truth doesn't need you to defend it. The truth will always bubble up to the surface. I know sometimes people think it won't, but it does. It really, really does. Okay? I honestly wouldn't even... 
if you're expecting to get to some kind of resolution or closure or something like that, I honestly wouldn't even entertain communication. Just know that you're not going to be walking away from this person feeling satisfied. And I don't think they want you to. That's the whole point. All right, let's look at singles. Single Virgos and their love interest. Let's look at single Virgos and their love interest. Do, do, do. Ooh, Knight of Swords, okay. Hmm, King of Wands reversed. Oh. So I don't know if this person really wants anything serious right now. <clears throat> yeah, Ten of Cups reversed, King of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed. It looks to me like this person may want to just have a lot of options available to them. They still have some unfinished business from the past. I feel like they're still doing a lot of reflecting. This person's still stuck in that period where they got hurt very badly. And you know how whenever you get hurt really badly, especially if it's your first time getting hurt, but it doesn't need to be. When you get hurt really badly, you go through that period where you're doing lots of reflecting. You know, when it finally sinks in and reality sets in and you're no longer in denial, you start going through that period of doing reflecting. You start going back and thinking, man, what are some of the signs that I missed? You know, and, and you're, you're going, that's what this person's going through right now. I don't know when they were hurt last. Maybe it was a year ago. But this person is still going through the reflective period. And I don't really think that they're ready to take on the burden of a serious long-term relationship. It looks to me like, like they probably have a lot of options available to them. You are probably one of many people that they are talking to, to be honest with you. <clears throat> Let's see how they see you specifically. How does this person view Virgo specifically? How does this person view Virgo specifically? Queen of Pentacles again. So... This part, they can definitely tell that you're no nonsense. They can definitely tell that you are no nonsense. Ooh, and the Virgo card? The Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles? This is the Virgo card, for those of you who didn't know. But I just really see that this person sees that you are no nonsense. They do have an interest in you. They do have an interest in you, but like I said, I feel like they want to keep their options open. I don't think you're number one on their list, to be 100% honest with you. I really don't. I really don't. It feels to me, and I wouldn't take that like personally, but this person kind of feels to me like the type of person who they were probably involved in something that was more than likely long term, and now they're wanting to get out and have fun and be single and mingle. And if they want to get with anybody, they want to get with somebody that's fun, that wants to go out and party and have a good time and have kinky sex and get really drunk and go on adventures. And, and here's Virgo. Here's Virgo uh, not wanting to mess around with no dumb bullshit. Like, uh, no, we're not 17 anymore. That was cool 15 years ago. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good on that. <laughs> you know, so I, I kind of feel like that, that this person honestly is kind of wanting to keep their options open. There is an interest, and there's more than likely a sexual attraction there, but I really don't think you're first on the list. It feels to me like this person's just trying to go out and have fun right now instead of have something serious. And you know what? I'm telling you, that may hurt. It may, and that, that's not my goal. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. But check this out. Think long term. Think long term big picture. You know, all that little fun and going and running around and sleeping with people and partying and this and that. That's fun for a very short. That, that life is very short-lived. That, that does not fill the void for very long at all. Okay? Been there. That loses its flavor really quick. So if you stay on the path that you're on right now, 
Okay. Let this person go out and have their little fun right now. A year from now, two years from now, five years from now, this person's going to be lonely, miserable, and depressed, and you'll more than likely be settled down in something healthy and serious. That's just my personal advice. All right, let's let's see here. What's the outcome? Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like you're in the, you're going to end up losing interest in this person. Hmm. I don't know. I'm seeing it kind of going back and forth. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands reversed. I honestly feel like you're slowly kind of losing interest in this person over time. I feel like you are because it doesn't really look like it's picking up and, and taking lift off. What, uh, what's the best advice? Best advice for Virgo. Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, that's your advice. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're moving slow or fast as long as you're headed in the right direction. Okay? Stay headed in the right direction. Let this person go out and run around and have their little fun and get their little quick fix for now. Think long term. Okay? Discipline. The thing about discipline, it sucks now, but you're rewarded for it later. With that quick fix, you're rewarded now, but it's going to suck later. Think about that. Think about that. Okay? Alright, let's look at the new person. By the way, I have moon and rising in Virgo, so I think it's a little bit easier for me to give y'all advice. Alright, let's look at the new person. New person. Ooh, nine of cups. That's a good energy. So this is not a codependency connection. Some of you may be wondering what's off about this person, but there, I don't think there's anything off about this person. I just feel like this person, you may never have connected with somebody who's not codependent before. Queen, yeah, see, Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like this kind of has you second guessing the situation. Kind of second guessing the situation. Not sure if you want to put in the work. Man, there is a strong sense of independence blasting off of both of you. <clears throat> I feel like you're concerned that you're going to have to end up walking away. Three of Wands, Magician, Hermit reversed. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of contemplating, wondering whether or not you should just walk away from this because this person's not clingy. They are not needy. They don't need you to make them happy. They don't blame you when they are unhappy. They don't demand that you make them happy. So that may be kind of short-circuiting. Like, wait a minute, are you even into me? Yes, they are. Okay, they, I think this person just has a healthier outlook on love and relationships than that. Okay? I don't know, though. It's got you feeling all kinds of weird about it, though. And that happens. You know, a lot of people don't know this, so they don't think this through, but when all you have ever known is toxic relationships, I watched it happen. I have sat back and watched it happen. When all a person has ever experienced is toxicity, when you give them something healthy, they don't know what to do with it. It's very easy to sabotage something good because you've never experienced good before. Very easy. Very, very easy. Let's see how this person feels about you, what they want from you. Okay, so wand reverse. This person wants to take things slow. They want to take things slow. Yeah, see that? This person really wants to take things slow. They may be wanting to wait to become intimate too. Hmm. They're, I feel like this person's just really wanting to take things slow and they're wanting to analyze the situation very carefully to make sure that it's worth them putting the work in as well. But their goal, big picture, is marriage. Big picture, this person's goal is marriage. Ace of swords reversed, ace of wands reversed. Hmm. For those of you who came to this reading wondering whether or not the new person is about to walk away from you, the answer is no. 
Okay. I can't really think of a way to hit this and tackle this in a really deep, intense manner. I just, I, it's very simple. This person wants to take things slow and they want to analyze the situation. <clears throat> it's not coming from a bad place. Okay. I know that wasn't much, but that's all that came through. So I guess let's just jump straight to the outcome then. What's the outcome? Will this take a turn for the best or the worst? Okay. Moving very slow. Moon card reversed. Okay, I see the tension building. I see the tension building. Okay. So there's that death card down there. I don't think that's a bad death card. I don't think so. I don't think that's a bad death card. I think that it's just a very slow, gradual transition from you being single to you being involved in a successful, healthy relationship where everything is established and everything's going good and well and you trust them and they trust you and, and there's that, that, that bond, you know, where we both know, I know you ain't going nowhere, you know I ain't going nowhere. I know I can trust you, you know you can trust me. That, that bond, getting from being single to that is a slow, gradual, transitionary process that with this energy right here, it looks like it's going to take a few months for y'all to get to that point. But things are still moving forward throughout the month of August. What's the best advice? Best advice. What's the advice? Three of swords in the reverse. Make sure you focus on your healing. Okay, we don't want to let relationships distract us from the healing that we need to do. We don't want to do that. Star card, maintain a positive outlook. Don't try to make it go slow. <clears throat> if it wants to pick up and move fast, let it pick up and move fast. Okay? Right now, I think that you need... I don't want to... I always figure out how I'm going to word this because I, I don't want to make it sound like you need to sit and live in the past. Don't live in the past, but focus on your healing. Healing doesn't mean, oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. True healing means I see the meaning behind why that happened and I'm thankful for it. That's true healing. Whatever it was that happened to you in the past, Whatever it was, I see the meaning behind why that happened that way, and I'm thankful that it happened that way. I wouldn't go back and change anything, even if I had the ability. That's true healing. Just, just focus on that. Don't focus so much on being afraid that you're going to recreate the past. Focus more on healing from the past and building a new future. Okay? Okay? And I feel like this will more than likely turn into something that has a lot of potential for success. Okay? Alrighty, I feel like those were the messages that my Virgo friends needed to hear. So I am going to go ahead and end this reading here. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and playing along. I greatly appreciate all the love and the support and the positive feedback you guys show me every single time I get on here and do this. Makes my job worthwhile here on YouTube, y'all. I greatly appreciate you. Don't forget to look in the description of this video if you would like to find information on how to schedule a personal reading. And I'm out of here now, y'all. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity. Y'all stay blessed.